All right, so it's a conversation uh, between Melanie and another girl. So Melanie first says, "I'm hungry. What do you want for lunch?" Oh, 今天呢，我们的文章标题同学们看到了吗 ？Noodle Kitchen, a different kind of restaurant. 看到这就觉得肚子饿。文章内容是来自关于这个 Melanie 和 Sarah 之间的对话。Melanie 开始就说，我好饿哦。你中午想要吃什么 ？Hey Tiffany, what time is it now? I think it's around lunch time. Ah,、uh, no wonder I'm hungry too. too. I want pasta for lunch later. What about you? I think that's a good idea. It's really nice for this weather, and I definitely want some soup or something. What about Sarah? What does she want for lunch? Well, Sarah says, "Do you want to try the new place, Noodle Kitchen?" Oh, Sarah, with Melanie, 你想要试试那间新开的餐厅 Noodle Kitchen 吗？叫做万面铺。So Sarah here wants to try a new restaurant. Does Melanie want to? I hope so. Well, actually, she just says, "Okay, sure." So she's definitely up for it.、Mm -hmm. Okay, me want to. All right. So then we see in the article they have a scenario where they go to the noodle place. So they're going to this restaurant, and then at the restaurant, Sarah says, "Let's find a seat." And then we can order our food. Oh, 文章接着给了我们一个背景。他们去了这间面食餐厅。Sarah 就说，我们来找位子，然后点餐吧。I wonder what kind of noodles this new place serves. Yeah, me too.、Um, there's something interesting that Melanie notices. She says, "Great.、Uh, where is the menu?" So it is kind of strange because most of the time, you know, when we go to restaurants, we sit down, and we have a menu given to us, and we look at the menu, we order our food, and that's it. But here at this restaurant, Melanie doesn't see anything, so she feels a little bit confused. Hmm. Melanie 就说啊，呃，菜单在哪里呢？这家餐厅并没有 waiters or waitresses 服务生来帮你点餐哦，所以 Melanie 开始有一点错愕。嗯、mm. ，All right. So before we figure that out, let's first take a look at our word power word menu. It's spelled M-E-N-U. Menu. A menu is a noun, and it's a list of all the dishes and the food that the restaurant has. For example, we can say the restaurant put its menu on the wall. The restaurant put its menu on the wall. Menu, 菜单，重音在第一节哦。同学们念的时候特别小心，我们念作 menu, menu. 例句提到呢，这家餐厅把菜单放在墙上。So what about the restaurant they're in now? Where is the menu? Yeah, where is the menu? So Sarah says. Come on, let me show you something. So when you tell someone, "Come on," it means it's like a phrase to encourage someone to do something. So, for example, if you're afraid to、uh, ride a bike or if if you don't know how to ride a bike, you can say, "Come on, you can try it." Oh, Sarah, 接着就说了 "Come on, 来，让我来给你瞧瞧某个东西。到底要看什么呢？我们先来看看 "Come on" 这个片语哦。根据情境不同呢，它有不同的解释。在这里。呀、yeah, ，我们知道下一步 Sarah 要带 Melanie 去看某个东西，所以我们将 Come on 解释为来。其他常见的解释还有快一点 ，Come on， we are going to miss the train。快点，我们要错过火车了。另外呢 ，Come on 也可以解释为拜托，少来了，也就是叫对方不要再骗你或说一些夸张的话。Come on， don't tell me your alarm clock didn't go off this morning again。Well, 拜托，不要再告诉我你今天早上闹钟又没有响了。Okay, so what is Sarah going to show Melanie in the article? Okay, so Sarah shows Melanie something, and in the article it says,、uh, "Well, it's another scenario. They walk over to a self-service machine. Okay, that's pretty cool." Because we don't really see these things that much now, but they're slowly、um, becoming quite cool. Self-service means a service you must do yourself. Because self, S-E-L-F equals you, yourself, myself.、Mm -hmm. So it's a service that you have to do by yourself. There's no waiters.、Um, there isn't an extra person around to do this for you. 嗯哼，所以原来 Sarah 带 Melanie 走到了自助服务机器那边 ，self-service machine 自助服务机器 ，self 就是自己的意思，在反身代名词当中你会看到它。反身代名词有哪些呢？刚 Tiffany 老师有提到一些啊、哦，比如说 myself 我自己 ，yourself 你自己 ，himself 他自己，男生的他哦 ，herself。
也是他自己，不过是女生的他，还有动物的他 itself， 再来复数我们自己 ourselves， 你们自己 yourselves， 他们自己 themselves。记得我们都要跟主词做搭配哦。For example， my dad fixed the car by himself。我爸爸自己修理汽车。在这个句子里面 ，my dad 是单数，而且是男生，所以反身代名词我们要搭配的是 himself。嗯，那接下来 service 就是名词服务啦，动作去服务他人，我们用 serve。嗯 ，All right, so we see a self-service machine. Okay, what is a machine? It's also a word pair word, and it's spelled M A C H I N E. Machine. A machine is a noun, and it's something used to make work easier for people. For example, a wheel can be considered as a machine because it makes work easier if you want to pull heavy things. So instead of carrying something heavy, you can use a wheel to take the heavy things around. Nowadays, we use many things to make our lives easier. For example, we have a coffee machine、uh, to make coffee for us instead of grinding everything. By hand, we have a fax machine to send、uh, information to other people, and computers are also a type of machine. And there's so much more. For example, we can also say Samantha put more paper in the copy machine. Samantha put more paper in the copy machine. Machine, 机器。例句提到呢 ，Samantha 在影印机里面放了更多的纸。Copy 是影印 ，Copy Machine 就是影印机。那刚刚 Tiffany 老师有提到 Coffee Machine 咖啡机，还有 Fax Machine 传真机。我们还有很常看到的自动贩卖机叫做 Vending Machine。再来洗衣机怎么说呢？ Washing machine. Hmm, so easy. All right. So a while ago we talked about a self-service machine. So it means that this is something used to help yourself. People don't come here to serve you food all the time. Hmm. 回到文章呢，我们说到这家餐厅没有服务生，是自助式的。所以 Sarah 和 Melanie 来来到了这个 self-service machine 自助服务机的前面。Hmm. And Sarah says the menu is in the computer. We order our food here. Wow,、oh, so cool. Sarah 其实就说了，菜单就在电脑里面，我们在这里点餐。Hmm, very futuristic. Now let's take a first look at our、uh, word power word order. It's spelled O R D E R. Order. Order is a verb, and it means that when you order something, you are asking for food or drinks to be brought to your table. So usually, it happens at a restaurant or、um, if you go to McDonald's or something. You order something, you ask for this food to be brought to you. For example, we can say, "I ordered a cheese sandwich and a bowl of soup." I ordered a cheese sandwich and a bowl of soup. Order, 动词，点餐。例句说呢，我点了。起司三明治，还有一碗汤。那除了当动词之外呢？这个 order 还可以当名词来使用哦。当你到有服务生的餐厅的时候，他们会过来为你点餐，对不对？那他可能就会跟你说 ，May I take your order？ 我可以为你点餐了吗？这边的 order 就是名词的用法。那另外 order 还有命令的意思。The king ordered that the soldiers had to fight the bad men out. 国王下令要士兵们找出坏人，在这句话当中呢 ，order 当动词用。既然国王下命令，士兵们就要服从命令。The soldiers had to obey orders. 那这边 orders 就是名词。嗯、hmm.。All right, so、mm-hmm. let's go back to the article and let's figure out how we can use this machine. Okay. Sarah says, "Think of a name and type it in." Later, it'll show up on the screen. So, the when you something shows up, it means for something to appear or to be somewhere. So,、um, later, if they type in their name, it'll show up somewhere on the screen. Okay. So we said again, show up means to appear somewhere. We can also say,、um, please show up to school on time,、mm-hmm. or you can tell someone, I'll show up to dinner a little later. Means、mm. I'll be there a little later. Sarah 呢这边跟 Melanie 说，想一个名字，然后打字进去，等一下它就会显示在屏幕上。
to think of， 想到，也就是某人某事物突然跑到你的脑袋里头哦。The photo made me think of you， 这张照片让我想起你。那如果我们今天把 of 改成 about。Think about 是思考，想着某人事物，代表他们会在你的脑脑袋里面停留一段时间。I'm thinking about what to do. 我正在想着该怎么办。I'm thinking about you. Me. 我在想着你。Oh. 接下来 type 是打字。To type something in, 输入，输入之后它就会 show up， 显示在屏幕上。To show up， 出现，也就是 appear 这个字。那如果是突然出现，我们会说 pop up。Mm. So what about the word screaming? Right, screen is our word pair word, and it's spelled S C R E E N. Screen. So we talked about things showing up on a screen. Now a screen is a flat surface that we see on TVs, computers, and even now our iPads. It shows you everything that is happening inside of the computer.、Um, now many things are touch screens. It means we can control things on the screen with the touch of a finger. For example, we can say, "My eyes get tired when I look at the computer screen for too long." My eyes get tired when I look at the computer screen for too long. Screen, 屏幕。例句说呢，当我盯着电脑屏幕看太久的时候，眼睛就会很疲劳。A computer screen, 电脑屏幕。Hmm. Melanie then says, "Wow, that's so cool." Okay, now what? Melanie 接着说呢，哇，那好酷哦。Now what? 现在要做什么呢 ？Sarah says, "Now we watch the screen and wait for our meals." Sarah 就回答啦。现在呢，我们就看着屏幕，然后等待我们的餐点。嗯、mm, ，So the scenario is Melanie and Sarah's names show up on the screen. Ah, and Melanie says our meals are ready. 现在呢，文章背景来到了 Melanie 和 Sarah 的名字出现在屏幕上了。那 Melanie 就说了，我们的餐点好了。Okay, and what's the first thing we need to do? Sarah says, "Okay, first we need to scan the barcode on our receipt." Oh, Sarah 这边继续叫 Melanie， 她就说了 ，Okay， 首先呢，我们需要在扫描。这个收据上面的 barcode 条码到机器上面，那我们还看到 receipt 这个字，字尾的 p 不发音哦，我们念作 receipt。那 barcode 就是条码的意思，里面的 code 是密码。嗯、mm. ， and then Melanie says done. Where are the meals? 最后 Melanie 说完成了啊，我们的餐点呢？ So futuristic, and Sarah says, "Wait for it. You get your meal after the fun animation ends." So I guess they're all watching the screen right now. And then what happens is something runs. There's a cartoon, and your meal just goes tada and appears after that. Oh, so Sarah 就告诉他，等一下，等这个有趣的 animation 动画结束之后，你就拿到你的餐点了。Hmm, so cool. It's very, very high tech now. Yes, I guess what that. I want, I want to know what the future of restaurants and our life is going to be like now with computers and stuff. Why don't we go to that restaurant? Yeah, let's go try it out.、Mm-hmm. But now we have to go to Magic Box. 来看看讲师怎么解释刚刚我们学到的所有的片语、单字还有句型。